it's me Sierra aka the nerd girl and I am back with another video today's video is gonna be kind of two videos in one part of it's gonna be like my uh, holiday season haul like all the books I've gotten since like end of November until like present day and then I also just got a book outlet order that came in the Boxing Day sale so I'm really excited to open that and um let's get started shall we so the first book I have is The Girl Who Was Supposed to Die by April Henry, and I already read this and I wrote a review for it, and I'll leave a link to it on my blog. Yeah, it was on my blog. I'll leave a link to that down below. But I thought it was alright. It was nothing really uh, special. So, uh, yeah. And then one book I'll talk really quickly about that I don't have with me anymore is I Hunt Killers by... Don't remember his name. First name is Barry. I remember that much, but um, I no longer have it with me because I really, really liked it, and so I gave um, the paperback edition that I got from Book Outlet to my best friend Isha, and now I'm gonna get the entire series in um, hardcover on Book Outlet too. So yeah, that's why I don't have it. And then I just got this like two days ago, and this is Illuminae by. Ami um, Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I probably butchered that. But I just, I've seen this book all over, like, booktube. And I've heard so much. And it looks like, it looks really unique. And I love how the cover is. And so I was like, ah, I might as well give it a shot. So, looking forward to reading this. Next, I have Thrown a Glass by Sarah J. Mass, which I am currently doing a buddy read of this with my friend Tamika, which I'll leave a link to her channel down below. But right now, I'm, I'm on like page 160, and I'm really enjoying it. I like Selena. Was it Selena? Someone tell me. Did I say it right the first time or the second time? Selena or Selena? But I really like her like attitude and the way she thinks, and I can tell that this book is like set up for the other books, but... Right now, I'm rather enjoying it. Oh, let me show you what else I got inside of it. I got this snazzy little uh, bookmark at uh, Barnes & Noble that says, Eat, Sleep, Read. Definitely a motto for life. Uh, let's see, the next book I got is Silo by DJ McHale? McCall? Who knows? But well, um, my uh, university's uh, book club is reading this, so I should probably pick it up sometime. It's quite big, actually. A lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, so we'll see. I'm not really sure what it's even about. They just told us we were reading it, and so I went out and bought it. Next is a book that I've already read, and I didn't like it, but I'll explain why I got it. So this is Soundless by... Uh, Rochelle Mead, and for those of you who watched the uh, Four Corners of the Book Outlet discussion, you you know that I didn't like this, and that I was very disappointed in Rochelle Mead. But I got this, because uh, it's signed... what? Yeah. They had this at my Barnes & Noble, and I was like so surprised, because they never have signed books there. And so even though I really did not like this book, I wanted something signed by Rochelle Mead, so I bought it anyway, so... Uh, now I have this in my possession. If only, you know, I could transplant the signature in this to my Vampire Academy book. That would make me happy, but that's not going to happen. And then, this isn't a book, but it's kind of books related. I went to Barnes & Noble and I got this really, really nice looking journal. And I like to journal, and so this is like my journal for the year. Though this will probably last longer than this year. It's, pr it's pretty thick. But, yeah, it's really nice. It feels nice. And then, oh, I guess I'll show you. My best friend Misha got me this Game of Thrones mug, and it's pretty big, and it's pretty boss. And um, I'm excited to take it back to college and drink from it, because I will feel like a badass drinking from this. So, now on to the Boxing Day book outlet boxing. Let's hope I don't mess up and kill myself. That's a lot of tape. This is a lot of tape on this, you guys. Like, a lot of tape. Oh my gosh. This is... This, the struggle is real, you guys. Oh my gosh. 
I'm regretting all up. Oh, we're making progress. We're making well, we were making progress. Oh, progress, progress again. I'm totally overcomplicating this. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Last a little bit of tape, and we made it. Let's just get all this crap out of the way. Okay, so I'll just start. So the first book I got is The Devil's Only Friend by Dan Wells. And this is like a murder mystery book, I believe. Uh, I don't know, it sounded really interesting. I really like the cover. And I'm excited to read it because I haven't read any like thrillers in a while and I like really like them. So I hope this does justice. Does justice. Next is a book that I've already read, but I wanted to own my possession, and that is Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick, and this was one of my favorites from 2015, and it was only $2.99 on Book Outlet, so, um, of course I had to buy it, but I'm so glad I had this in my possession now, and I didn't realize that it was, like, this thin, like, physically, because I read uh, the ebook of it, but, um, yeah, I'm just really glad I have this now. And nothing, nothing really special about the spine, but I like it. Next isn't really like bookish related, but I needed one, and that's the calendar for 2016. And this is of like space, and I just I love looking at images from space because it's so cool. And even though it has like Bible quotes on it, I can just like scratch that out. And last but not least, something I've been meaning to get for like eons, The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings box set. Like, I love this series. I read all the books when I was like in 6th grade, and again in like 8th grade. And then my mom loves the movies, so we like watch the movies all the time. But yeah, I'm just, I'm really glad to finally own them. Like, for years now, I've been debating, oh, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it, and then I'm like, no, I don't need it, and then I'm like, yeah, I do need it, but I finally, like, caved because it was on Book Outlet for, like, half off, and, yeah, I'm really happy to own these. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all the books. How many books is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten books, so technically eleven if you count I Hunt Colors. That's a lot of books for me. Wow. I need to cut back. But I know I'm not. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say for this, um, unboxing haul thing. And, um, I should have more videos coming at you soon, so, uh, till next time.